Okay, so I just made a video regarding extracting models for the first Sonic Riders game. Uh, this is going to be one for Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. This game, and extracting models from this game in particular, is a lot more hands-on, it's a lot more involved, it will involve the command line, and it will involve some hex editing. So I'm going to warn you here now, if you don't have a hex editor, Go and grab that first. And if you are not familiar with how to use command line, then hopefully you'll be able to follow along with this. If not, uh, I will be able to explain it to you more in detail uh, in the Sonic Riders Discord server, which you should very much join if you are watching a video on how to modify Sonic Riders, which is Discord dot gg forward slash exgl so join the server i will be in here and i will be helping all of you guys do this right so before we get underway first things first if you haven't watched the first video go and do that now because it will teach you how to get sega's nn tools made by arg who is one of the devs uh, and you will need that because this does everything we need to import models okay it extracts the models from files and it imports models into blender okay so we are going to need this if you don't know how to do that go and watch the first video it walks you through that it's very very simple second thing you're going to need to do just like we did with the first game i've got riders open here is the following uh you will need a sonic riders zero gravity rom you will need to right click on your sonic riders zero gravity rom you are going to need to click on properties you're going to need to click on file system right click on the disk extract in uh, extract entire partition oh sorry click on disk not that and then extract entire disk pick a folder to extract it to uh and then wait for dolphin to do its thing this will take a while because this game is as you can see 4.1 gigs it's a lot bigger than gamecube games this is a wii game okay so once you've done that this is where things get tricky you're gonna need the command line okay so first things first i'm going to navigate to where i've got my files extracted which is uh here okay so here i've got my sys folder and my files folder i also have other stuff in here i will explain why in a little bit okay so go into your files folder in this folder, normally you will have three files, image 1 CVM, image 2 CVM, and image 3 CVM, okay? This is important, and this is why this game is a lot more complicated. Unlike the first game, which has all of its files laid bare, so you can work on every single file, Zero Gravity has all of its files in these three CVMs, okay? And we will need to extract these CVMs in order to access the files, okay? Image 2 has all of the game audio. Image 3 has all of the cutscenes. So we don't care about these two. We care about image1.cvm, okay? In order to extract this, we are going to need a program called CVM Tool, okay? And that's over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to this, uh, this website. I'm going to put the link in the description. You click download, and it will download a, uh, a, a zip file here with all of the stuff in it okay what you want to do is you want to click and drag all of this and put it in i put it in the folder with my cvms okay because uh, it makes things a lot easier for me okay here's the command line bit you are going to open a command line if you are working in a different file uh let me open a fresh command line so i can explain this if you are working in a different iso Oh, sorry, not ISO. If you are working in a different um, drive, you are going to need to mount that drive, okay? By pressing the letter of your drive, and then the colon button, and then you press enter. So I'm now in the Z drive, okay? That's important. If you only have one drive, you don't have to worry about it. Next thing you should do is copy the, um, the file path of the drive you're working in, Type in your command prompt cd space paste your 
path and then hit enter okay so the next thing we need to do is extract this CVM into an ISO and the way we do that is by using CVM tool so type in CVM underscore tool and you will get this information okay so the available commands are info which provides information of course split which extracts the ISO from a ROFS volume and then MKCVM okay so this is effectively the one we want the extract one and this is the repack one so we're not going to do any repacking in this video we're just going to do some extracting so you want to do CVM underscore tool split the file which is image one dot CVM and then image one dot ISO and then hit enter okay and it will spew out a bunch of this garbage and what you want to do here is you want to wait for the next line to come up so there it took me about I don't know five seconds but my next line came up if I go back in here I will now have a file called image one dot ISO the next thing you do right click on your new ISO you click extract to image one if you're using WinRAR if you're using 7-zip or something else there are uh, ways to do this I'm sure it's very similar you right right click on the ISO and then you click extract but yeah that's the premise of it and then you extract you click yes to all assuming you haven't done this already this window won't come up but yeah that's what you do okay and then you will have a folder called image one and in this folder will be all of the games files okay now this is a little bit of insider knowledge the Sonic Rider zero gravity models are in these .p files and specifically for just the characters themselves they are in EC and then a letter uh, for Sonic it's S D E F underscore one V okay so I will have here all the character files okay so ECU ECH ECY ECG etc etc so ECS is Sonic, ECJ is Jet, ECT is Tails, ECK is Knuckles, etc, etc. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of these files. Okay, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go upper folder and I'm going to paste it here just so it's not in that huge folder with all those files. Now, this might get confusing, but I assure you it's very simple if you have a hex editor. Okay, what you want to do is the following. You want to open this file in a hex editor. It will look like this. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to delete this this uh these first twelve numbers or twelve pairs of numbers. You want to delete those. And then you want to delete everything here apart from where it starts to get gibberishy okay so leave one line of zeros and delete the rest okay now what you're going to do is i don't know how to get rid of this but uh you want to insert the following Eight zero 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 one. Delete a line of zeros. That's it. Okay. Here's an example of one I've done earlier. As you can see, I've left a couple of zeros too many. But what you want is the following layout. You want eight zero 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 one, and then the file size in the second four numbers. I'm going to undo here so you know where that came from. That's uh, these four numbers here. So you want to take this, you want to put it here, and then the rest of it, uh, this stuff doesn't actually matter. You can just make it zeros or whatever. So I'm going to make it zeros, okay? Just like this, okay? Now, we are going to need another tool here. We are going to need the following. This one is also public. Sonic riders lzss.py okay this is a uh, this is a python script that you need 
um, and it will help you to unpack this is it here this will help you to unpack and repack uh, or not unpack but decompress the files okay so take this script copy it paste it in uh, I don't know a notepad or whatever save it as whatever you want to save it as uh, I save mine as decomp.py and then again open your command line and type in the following decomp.py space the name of the file space dash dash gamecube now i know this is a wii game and typing gamecube here seems very bizarre but this is really just an endian check so don't worry about this okay uh oh sorry decomp.py space unpack Now what have I done? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna copy this uh, and then go to my archive tool. Try again here. Okay. Um, so let me go to S. Decomp.py unpack ecsdf underscore one v dot p space gamecube. I think what happened here is I downloaded just the file, but really what you're supposed to do is download all of these files and paste them in that folder, okay? So get all of this, all of this is important. You need all of these files, okay? Right, next up, now we have done that, is um, inside we will have made a file called decompressed.bin. If we look at this file, it starts with pack, and then there's a bunch of data, okay? So we, we know we've done the right thing here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this to, uh, who did we extract? Sonic, sonic.pack, for example. The name of the file doesn't actually matter. What matters is that you have the dot pack at the end, okay? Next up, go to Blender. Click on Sonic Rider Zero Gravity dot pack. Uh, go to the place where you have uh, extracted your file, which is here. In my case, click Extract. Here it will say Sonic Rider Zero Gravity Extractor Finish. Um, if we go back to our folder, find Sonic underscore Extracted Zero Zero. Here we have four textures and a GNO. Okay, our GNO is our model. So let us import model. So star NO. Uh, go to that folder. Sonic extracted. Port. Here is Sonic from Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. Uh, and that should be all. There is one more thing I want to talk about here, and that is when you're dealing with GameCube, these GVR files that are textures, if you want to convert these textures into um, something that makes a bit more sense to you guys, what you want to do is install this program called Puyo Tools, uh, which, I mean, you can either get it from the GitHub or from the uh, Puyo Pop Fever or, you know, whatever. So this is a tool that converts textures into... Download link is here. Uh, this is a tool that converts textures into things that other people actually use. So GVRs aren't really used anymore. But uh, PNGs are, for example. So this program is also very easy to use. You click on Texture, Decode, uh, Add Directory or Add Files. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's go for Sonic Extracted. Okay, pick this folder. Yes, output to the same directory as the source texture. And then you can delete the texture once it's done if you want. I'm not going to. Click on Run. And here are all of the textures. 
Sonic's textures and the uh, the weird little handbag thing he carries on. Actually, I think this is the Ark of the Cosmos for Sonic. But yeah, these are Sonic's textures converted. So now, I don't know if this will work or not, but uh, I didn't show this in the last video either. But if you click on reverse recursive texture search here, um, and then you click recursive, click on import. Okay, this doesn't quite work, but uh, oh, it did work. There you go. Sonic with actual textures. Uh, and this works for OG as well. So you can do the same thing with that one. Although if you're working in PC version, uh, the textures are already in a format that Blender understands, so you don't need Puyo tools to convert it. Um, yeah, that's how you import models from ZG. Hopefully this made sense. I know this is a very complicated way of doing it. There's hex editing and command line involved, but again, if you have questions or you need help, join the Discord. I will be there to explain it. So will the people who made the tools. Um, there is no equivalent file list for ZG as there is for OG. So if you want to import a random file, go for it. We don't actually know what's in all the files. Like there's no dedicated, this file has this in it, this file has this in it, etc, etc. It's just hit and hope. I just happen to know where the character models are. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and will use it and so on and so forth. But if not, let me know.